Okay, today you join me to install Lodine on a Wii U 5.5.0. Apparently it also works on the 5.5.1, but I've not tried it on that. Okay, here we go. Quickly into it. First off, download WinRAR so you can unzip your zips. What you're going to need, you can get it from this link. Okay, copy and paste into the Yahoo. Use Yahoo because the links actually work with Yahoo because this is where I got it from. Uh, go to this screen here, download the WeView Homebrew Launcher. Save as. What we do is put it in the desktop. Um, then again, get your load loading from this site. Should be the first one if you use these links. Going to need to get this one zip, and then also you need to get your nightly build of loading. The reason why we need the first one is because it's got the little icon in the zip. I'll show you what I mean later. Maybe the second one. Yeah. So you need to get your nightly build. So now we've got three zips on your desktop. Close out the internet because you're not going to need that anymore. First, you need to format a SD card to 32. It's got to be FAT32, otherwise, it won't work with your setup. You open your homebrew channel zip and you should have a folder called Wii U. Um, I'm going to just pull it out to the desktop because then we're ready to go. Make a new folder named Wii U on a blank SD card. Open Wii U folder and make folders named Wii. You, well, you've got your Wii U directory and then you've got apps, games, saves and save. But if you open one you just downloaded, you should already have your apps in there. And when you open that, you're going to have your homebrew launcher. Next, open up your Lodeen GX2. And in that one you have a Wii U and you also have an apps folder. And you have Lodeen. So put that with the other one in your apps folder. Now this file won't be compatible with your 5.5 because it was made before that. So what you do is you get your load line nightly build and in that you'll have two files, one www folder and one loading folder. Uh, just put that into this folder and copy replace file. There you go, now you've got your latest loading on your SD card. Uh, you also got your icon there for your loading GX2. And if you go into your homebrew launcher, you should have three files, and the icon is there, homebrew launcher. Okay, now you've got your apps folder and your Wii U folder, Wii U, apps. Now you need to make three other folders called games, saves and save. So just go new folder. Ok, I've opened up my games folder, where I keep all my Wii U games, got it here, and let's put in, let's say Star Fox, so you open your games folder, drag Star Fox into it, it might take a bit more time but my games are on the same drivers I'm using so it goes across fast, and let's put another one in there as well, so on the guide you'll then have your first game and your second game, and they've been named right. Now, when I say name right, they have to be named with the end code and the right name. So this is the right name for Star Fox, and this is the right name for Binder of Isaac. Right, next thing you need to do is you'll need to make save folders. You copy your name of your first game, whichever one that is, go to saves make a new folder and name it exactly the same so paste your name, game name in there again copy rename copy the name not the actual folder you don't need the actual game folder you just need the name of the folder so have a new folder rename that to 
Now, you've got a Star Fox folder and a Binder Advisor folder. I'm not too sure if this is absolutely necessary to do this, but so in the new game folder, make one new folder called C, and make another new folder called U. And copy these, and again in this one, C new. So that saves Star Fox binding. So that should be set up. Next thing you need to do is transfer this to an SD card. Right, so we've got the Wii U card in, or the SD card in, and then all you need to do is drag your Wii U folder, what you've just made, and stick it in your new card. It's going to take a few seconds, so we'll come back to it when it's done. Okay, as that's copying across, I was going to show you this quickly. Um, the game's names, what I was talking about, like the Star Fox and there, can be found on the internet, but it's quite hard to find. But if you follow this link in the description, or just copy, say, that into Yahoo, uh, you should find there on the game TDP and then you'll get to this and it'll just tell you just this little bit of information and that will give you a game ID for this game and if you go to Wii U games here it will give you all of the games just there um, also if you want to see your compatibility list uh, type in this go into Yahoo again Um, you should find the GBA temp bovine compatibility list here and this will tell you about all the games what are working and what are not okay so that being done now we've now got our Wii U card folder onto the actual SD card and that's it we're ready to go on the Wii U to test it out now, there's a couple of things to do on the Wii U so first off you need to get your Wii U online and that's just done normally by setting it up with your router and also you need to block the updates and stuff so we're going to do the tube hacks and the bookmarks okay join me on my phone in a few minutes right then we're going to turn the Wii U on I'll put the memory card actually in the Wii U what we do is Right, my one has um, SD, um, actually a USB hard drive stuck on it, so it will come up with like a warming format, but we don't need to do that. And you won't have it. Okay, what we do, go to settings, go to internet, connect to internet, list of connections find your one, change settings, what you need to do is for SIDS ok, security risk is ok, but what you do is put DNS do not auto obtain, obtain auto, do not auto obtain, set your primary to 107.211.140.06 and the secondary to 00000. 000 000 000 000. When you've done that, you've actually tube hacks it. Hit confirm, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Scroll across to your power settings and disable auto power down and standby functions do not have this quick start setting on if you do 
you're likely to update your Wii without even knowing it while it's actually meant to be turned off. Because it will go in standby mode and start downloading. <clears throat> go back to your Wii U menu. Cancel again. I just say you won't have that. Right, go to your internet, double click. As you can see my little character. So what you do is you hit the little guy what's in the corner. And you'll come up with web pages. When you've got your settings up, click one. And as you see, I've named my Google to load line OVH and put the address W TTP load line OVH in there. And that is your browser hack launcher. So with your SD card in, go to that address. It will glitch out three times. And you'll have a small list. It says Homebrew Launcher one two three RC or RC three five five zero five five one. As you can see, that's our one. What we need? Hit submit. It will start loading in. So you'll have the homebrew launch we've just actually run and the load line GX2, the one we put in. As you can see, they're the same icons as on PC. Click for load line, click load. After a few seconds, you should come up with this. And as you see, we have the two games we put on there. Got some settings on there. Um, I like my carousel on the covers and I like my TV view as cover carousel. If we look up at the TV as well, we'll see both the screens are the same. Yet now both screens are different. As you can see, it's found the games we put on because they're named right. Take four. Okay, you've got the GUI. You can have your game view for TV for icon carousel. Or cover carousel which I like and game cover okay just change the settings there and then you'll get a nicer picture if pressed the plus button you might get the covers come up see that and we have the covers actually come up on the loader just by pressing the plus button and click once more. Double click. Launch modes, default settings. Run it. There we go. And that's all there is to it. In fact, it's a lot easier than a Hobro channel on the Wii U.
Yes, Fox, check it. Turn it down. Uh, okay, that's it. Thanks for watching this. Um, hope this helps somebody out, and I'll see you again on your next video. Bye for now. There were X bouncing around saying, I cannot get to the server. And as you can see, it's been trying to update. So please do do, do something with the tube hacks, because otherwise it will update. And there is other things to do when you can ban everything and ban it through your router and even host your own server. We'll get to that one day. Okay, thanks for watching again. Bye for now.